Now, this is confusing. So uh, child dependency ratio, old age dependency ratio, and age dependency ratio is most likely going to be the most difficult thing uh, to comprehend. And of course, it's coming at the end, but uh, hopefully I can explain it clear enough. So child dependency ratio, this all has to do with, uh, let me write this, this all has to do with working age. Okay, this all has to do with working age. So the idea is the denominator, what we're going to divide by is the group that is of working age. In this book, we'll define it. Working age is 15 to 64, though in reality, that number, at least for this country, has kind of shifted. So people start working a little bit later, but then they finish. They don't quite retire at 64. So it's kind of been shifted. Um, that's what we know this uh, more in reality. But um, in this class, we consider 15 to 64 at the working age. Okay. Zero through 14 is considered childhood, and 65 and older would be the elderly, the retired, that kind of thing. So child dependency ratio is the group, is this group of this ages, and you're going to take children divided by the working, okay? The old age dependency, that ratio, this is going to be the elderly divided by the workers. And the age dependency ratio is the children plus the old age. Okay. Child plus elderly divided by the workers. Okay. Please note. We do not divide by population, okay? We're not dividing by the population. We divide by the workers, okay? With this dependency ratio, we're dividing by the working age. We are not dividing by the population, okay? In other calculations in this class, we will be divided by the population, like per capita. We're going to go over per capita next time. But this time, we are not dividing by population. We're dividing by the working age. Okay. So let's do a problem. Using the information below, calculate the dependency ratios and round your decimal to the thousands place. Okay, let's do that. So let's do the child dependency ratio first. Okay. In this group of information, there are 625 children, and the working age is 1,800, okay? Now, one of the, as a decimal rounded to the thousands, hopefully you were able to see my calculator, but if you can't, the only thing I'm doing is dividing that. Okay. Uh, convert. So thirty four seventy two. And we went around to the thousands place. That would be here. So that would be equal to zero point three four seven. Okay, there we go. Now let's do the old age dependency. Now, if you're over 64 years old and you're listening to this, am I calling you old? No, I'm not calling you old. Uh, but that's what that's what they determined it. Okay, uh, the name. Well, let's see. We have 455 of those people divided by 1800. Okay, so let's see what happens. 455 divided by 1800. 91, 360, 25, 27. I already forgot, 25, 27, yeah. 
All right, we went around to the nearest thousands. So that's that two. We look to the next digit, that's a seven. So that two is going up, 0 0.253. Okay, now we're gonna do age dependency ratio. This is where we add those two. We add the 625 and the 455. These are the people dependent on the working age, 1800. Okay, let's do it. 625 plus 455, and then divided by 1800, three fifths, 0 0.600. Okay, all right. Age dependency ratios. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I mean, they're easy if you know what to do. Each, there's just a little, little steps. I mean, if you know what to do, it's not that bad, uh, but it's all about knowing exactly what it's asking you to do. Are there any questions about these age dependency ratios? Any questions about that? I will post these notes later today in case they are helpful to you. Any questions about that? Okay. Write a sentence about each ratio using estimations. For this, we will use the simple numbers one through five to create an estimate. Uh, this will be used to simplify the problem and sentence. For your answer, complete the sentences below. There are approximately blank children for every uh, blank working age people. So, oh, 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 there is a question. Are these in the textbook? Oh, so are you asking, is uh, this worksheet in the textbook, Caroline? Is that what you're asking? I think it is. So this is not in the textbook. So this is like what I'm working on right now. This is like a consolidation of section two. This is like a, a boiled down. This is the minimum of what you would need to know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. But I will post this. I will post this uh, after class. So you will have access to these notes after class. Okay. But that, thank you. That, um, that was a little confusing. And I don't think I said that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have eight minutes. If it's okay with you. I'm just going to skip uh, right to this because um, we're I'm almost out of time. All right, let's do it again. So we're going to do the child dependency ratio. And here we are going to write the ratio, uh, write a ratio for each dependency and then use a uh, sentence using an estimation. Okay, 6,710 over the working age. 9,372. If we can, we would like to reduce. 9,372. Does this reduce? Not really. Okay. Not really. Uh, we can use an estimation. It's approximately um, 0 0.71. Six. Okay. The uh, old age dependency ratio is the 2,687 divided by the working. Okay. 2,687 divided by 9372. I think I plugged that in right. Two six eight seven nine three seven two, and that is approximately two eight seven. And then the age dependency ratio is both of them. Okay, so let's do that. Six seven. 10 
plus 2, 6, 8, 7, divided by 9, 3, 7, 2. Oh, 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 did I mess up? I think I did. And maybe I heard someone's voice. Was there a question? Uh, I wrote something down wrong. Six, seven, ten, two, six, eight, seven, nine, three, seven, two. What did I do? Okay. Divided by nine, three, seven, two. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry, having technical difficulties. I think I know what happened. I didn't believe my own answer. Nine, three, seven, two. Okay, what's happening is, what shocked me is that this is over one. That means that there are, this group is actually more than this group and that we will note is not great you don't want to have more people dependent on the workers than there are workers this can be detrimental to the economy okay so this was greater than one that's what scared me but i think i actually did do it right zero zero three okay all right so this is above one and if it's above one i mean it's really close to one but that that's not great that's very bad for the economy okay when that happens this isn't an economy class i'm not an economy professor but that's uh not great all right i'm gonna so that's that's kind of the introduction to this section